When analyzing a portfolio of applications, there are a few recurring questions that people often ask. What's in my portfolio's code base? What kind of technology stacks are in use? What API and libraries are being utilized? How technically feasible is it to make an app cloud native? How much work will it be? How do we know we're not going down a rabbit hole? And most importantly, how do we make quick, reliable assessments? Most assessment scenarios tend to rely on manually reviewing code with experts. This process is generally slow, inconsistent from app to app, and depends highly on the knowledge of the experts. Why are you asking these questions? Basically, you want to go faster. You want to speed up your modernization process, and you want to make informed decisions while doing it. What we need is a reliable, consistent, and efficient way to assess a portfolio of applications that helps us make informed decisions on how to start our modernization and helps us to increase the velocity of the entire modernization process. Let's take a quick look at Cloud Suitability Analyzer in action. I have the executable and a folder of sample applications, a portfolio that we'll use to analyze. I've also exported the rules so we can take a look at the structure of a rule. All the rules follow a simple format. Let's take a look at this one about file IO. Each rule has a name, the file type, the target, which is looking for a line. In this case, it's a line element rule as opposed to a multi-line element rule. The type, regex, so this is a regex expression. Most of our rules are regex expressions, although we do support other types, JSON path and X path, for example. This is the pattern, the regex expression that we're looking for. You can add some advice to each rule, and then you can use these two values to add the score. We use these to weight the rules and define scores. Each rule has multiple tags, which you can categorize the rules into different buckets. So when you look at your findings, you can see categories of, of findings. The patterns are substitutions into the regex expression that the regex expression looks for. In case in this sample here, these are all the elements that indicate file IO. We have a sample here of an XPath rule. We can see we're using uh, XPath matching here. We have lots of rules, as you can see. There's currently about 200 plus rules, and there's about 2,000 patterns. The patterns are derived from adding all these values into these regular expressions. Each one of these is a separate search. So if you add all those up, you get over 2,000 distinct matches within the rules. We have rules for cloud suitabil suitability, and we have rules for container suitability. Let's run the analyzer and see what we get. As we said, it runs from the command line. So we'll give it a switch to tell it that we're looking at a portfolio and tell it that this is the folder that contains the applications we're looking at and let it do its thing. It's found a bunch of applications, as we can see. It's analyzing those applications giving you the progress and we're done. That was pretty fast. It found, let's see what we got. We found about 14 applications. Here's the names of the applications and how many files are in each one of those applications. This is the progress of each one as it went through when we were watching. Here's a summary of the lines of code. We analyzed about 53,000 lines of real code here. There's 16,000 commented lines. There's about 10,000 blank lines. And you can see the different language types that are in our little portfolio here. We have a summary of the results that include the scores. You can see scores are 10 are really good. Those applications are applications that are very cloud native. And we have applications that score a little bit lower in the fives, for example. These are applications that need some work to be made cloud native. We'll get into more of the scoring as we look at the UI of these results. And this is the summary tab. Summary tab shows us the amount of applications that were found in our portfolio, lines of code that were scanned, number of files, and the findings. A finding is a match on one of those rules, pat patterns and rules that we looked at before. There's also a summary for each individual application. We have the lines of code, number of files, its raw score, and its technical score. A bit more about the technical score. For each pattern we find, there are associated scores. Some patterns may appear in multiple source code lines, such as IO methods. Other patterns might appear only once per source code file, such as import statements. Still, others may appear only once in the application, such as a configuration file. 
Each of these three types receives progressively higher ranges of scores to account for the levels of occurrence. In the end, we process the score statistically and end up with a technical score between 1 and 10, with 10 being perfect. The lower the score, the more effort to remediate into the cloud or to accommodate into container. On the portfolio page, we see the top five languages that were in the portfolio and the top five APIs. Down below here, we could see the distribution across languages across the portfolio. You can see in Java, these are the top apps using Java. We have other languages that we found in our portfolio that we could look at. We also have the API distribution across the portfolios. This is the JBoss API. You could see the applications that it's appeared in. Here's say Jindy. We could see that these two applications have used that. This gives you a way to drill into the distribution of languages and APIs throughout your portfolio. The application tab lets you drill into the results for each application in the analysis. You can select the application you'd like to look at through the combo box here. And then you see the details of all the rules that were found, the patterns that were matched during the analysis. For each pattern, you see its name, file name it was found in, and the line number it was found in, plus the score. Up here, we see the rules that were fired categorized into their efforts, effort groups. We can see that there's 58 low effort rules found in this application, 88 high rules, and zero medium rules. That gives us a total score of 146, and that is statistically changed into a score of zero to 10 to give us our cloud suitability. In this case, the application scored about a 6.6, .6, which is pretty good. These boxes and ovals allow you to filter the results of the rules that were fired. You can select these and trim down the list that you're looking at, or you can group them into larger archetypes, which are groups of these sub rules here. You can export anything you like in these findings here to a CSV file, so you can analyze them in another tool if you'd like. The data tab shows all the information that was harvested from your portfolio. The APIs by application, a detailed API usage, a summary of the API usage, any critical annotations that were found, third-party libraries that were in use, source code details, a listing of all the findings that were found, and the rules by the application. Cloud Suitability Analyzer helps you to rapidly make informed decisions regarding the cloud suitability of your applications.